so much I want to do with it and I'm like hopefully I can just go fast enough to get it. <laughs> Artists raced the clock for two hours to get their painting done. I actually was in it last year and it was so much fun. We got to meet with other artists from around the country and around the state so it was really good to just bring that community of people together and for our community locally. Um, it was an entire week where everyone was just found around town at different parks, cities, and museums just painting. Richie Vios loved the experience of painting outdoors. I mean, if you took pictures, there's no justice in it. But when you see in actual, you see all the noise signs, the colors and everything, it's really different. So, man, it's different universe as an artist. Susie Baker says painting outdoors will challenge artists and grow their skills. I am, uh, I have an easy job. All I can do is I just painting for enjoyment right now because I'm not being judged. I am the judge. But I'm also going to be looking for expression, that, that thing about a painting that, that separates it and gives it a little bit more um, interest. I'm also going to be looking to see was the artist in control of all the things that they were looking at or were they being embossed around a little bit too much by the weather or by the scene. Susie Baker picked Richie Vios as its second place winner. Michael Sippler was chosen as the first place winner for his first time in the competition. Really neat about it is the camaraderie amongst artists. Um, it's not really as competitive as it is just people who love art and it's a great community to belong to. Susie Baker says she hopes they learn how to appreciate nature and explore their creativity. Keisha Swafford, ABC 31 News, that works for you.